Hello Team Capricorn, it's Empire333 here with your Love Tarot card reading. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I hope you're all well and safe wherever you are on planet Earth. And I wanted to thank you all for your love and your support with this channel. For those of you who are new, I might extend this reading if Spirit guides me to do so. And that link that you want will be under the video in the description box. All you have to do is click on it and I'll take you there. If this story, you know, um, rings true to you or sounds familiar, if this is your story, then you can follow me there. I'll let you know closer to the end of the video if I will extend this for further spiritual advice and guidance when it has to do with this love story, okay? So what else? I think that's it. Let's get into your reading. Oh, and for those of you who are new who vibe with me, do click subscribe and turn on all notifications. Hit that bell and um, you'll be notified as soon as I post readings and all other good stuff I'm planning on doing, okay? I can't give times now because I don't want to <laughs> be on a schedule, a uh, crazy schedule, okay? So, but it is coming. It's on its way. So, anyhow, Capricorn, let's get into your love romance, okay? I'm getting, a, like, that's what's on your mind right now. Um, the focus is here. I feel that you have already established that you are really, you feel really connected to someone. This is the lover's card here, okay? You feel really connected to this person. I feel like you can't get this person or off your mind or you can't shake it up, okay? You can't shake them off is what I'm getting. But at the same time, I feel that some of you possibly are, you know, um, You've gone through the ringer when it has to do with either fighting with this connection and then also, um, you know, maybe blocking this person. Some of you are just like, I feel resistance on your part. And it has a lot to do with um, somehow about giving up. So I don't know whether this is about you're thinking, you know what, should I give up? Um, I feel that some of you, maybe you're thinking, you know what, maybe this person is really not into me. I, I, I'm seeing someone question, okay, this connection. Like, what is this really between us? What is this? Okay, because I feel like this person, you know, could be my soulmate, you're, ask, you're telling yourself, okay? But there's the attractions there, the passion is there. I do feel love for this person, you know, um, some kind of love is what I just heard, okay? So some of you feel like all these feelings for this person, it's pretty strong, and you're just trying to make sense out of it, okay? Some of you might be seeing 777, 616. Um, your person here, I feel that they've got, you know, their, their walls up, okay? They got their walls up. I feel that this person, what I'm getting is that this person, um, they, they're dealing with a lot of baggage, okay? So it could be their baggage and other people's baggage. So I'm seeing possibly family. So there's a lot of things that this person has, like they need to lighten up their load is what Spirit is saying. And it's like they're having a hard time doing that. And that is actually causing them to um, even put, be guarded when it comes to you, when it comes to your energy. And some of you are waiting for this person to make a decision, but I feel like they're waiting on you, okay? So we'll get into a deeper cap, but this is about some type of healing from the past that both of you in your own respects need to get out of because this is about um, all these things going through your mind like worry, doubt, all this stuff and it has a lot to do with something from the past maybe that there was no closure in the past it doesn't have to necessarily be with this person so both of you, the mutual thing here is that both of you, I feel, want to reach a happy medium is what I just heard. But both of you are in a 
what is it called? It's a crossroads energy, okay? It's, a, it's like a crossroads. Like, what do we do? Each one of you know that you want each other, but <clears throat> I feel that both of you don't know how to get this, okay? Because um, it's, it's established that you both need, um, <clears throat> you need, both of you need to close out things of the past. I keep getting closure. So I don't know what that is. This is a general reading, but it's going to be different for all of you, okay? So, seriously, okay? Yep. Okay, so this is your person's energy, guys. So, let's see. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'll stop right there. All right. So yeah, double cards here. The Eight of Swords. Okay. Your person is stuck in their own self-imposed prison, where it's like all these things are going through their mind. Should I invest in this? Should I invest in this connection? Should I not? Um. I do also feel that family for some reason is coming up also so I don't know if this person's family could be getting in the way of this connection something to do with family or sick members sick members um, it could be they they have to take care of someone who's sick or um, something like that is what I'm picking up on okay so guys just to let you know those of you who are new I do intuitive a lot so even the cards come out you know it's not really traditional tarot so I feel that your person is contemplating whether this is the right time to, to, you know, come together, okay? They're contemplating, and it has to do with the timing. But I feel like they're looking at the past. So like I said, for some reason, your person is stuck in the past. So I don't know if it has to do with you in the past or their, their past, like without you. Um... I feel that they're also looking at, it could be the past where they were actually happy and, you know, jolly, this kind of stuff. And it could also be with you, okay? But the thing here is that this person is, okay, you know what it is? This person is not taking action, okay? I feel like their drive is just like, um very low their drive to to come towards this connection so it's like they're waiting for a miracle this is the wheel of fortune okay i feel that this person is waiting for you they're waiting for you to make some kind of a move okay and they're trying to figure out for those of you who you've known this person for a while and you're having some type of falling out in this connection it's like they're looking back to the times where you both were happy together. You both were enjoying one another, going out, you know, dating, you know, date night, whatever it is. Um, like the happiness you both shared, okay? For others of you, if this is something new, newer, I should say, I feel that this person is not in the mood to do that because of you so if you're in communication with this person it's like i feel that the energy they bring you um you bounce off of that energy okay cap so it means like you're reflecting their energy back to them and vice versa so if you come in into a conversation let's say this person comes in they're like moody or they're sad or they're whatever then you're just like oh my god what should i do like what, what what's going on like both of you are like that and if you give this person the same type of energy of like confusion or you're moody or you know you're not that that same person that they met it it kind of you know um it it whatever what is it called it makes them negative 
okay? It makes them doubt this connection. It makes them think that they can't turn things over, okay? Because this person definitely needs healing. Like I said, both of you do in your own respects, okay? Um, I feel that this person just, you know what they do? I feel like they come in and then they realize maybe they have a conversation with you and then they pull back their energy and they start, you know, maybe if I take care of myself, you know, Cap will change. Maybe Cap will feel different next time I talk to them. This person is really depends on your energies for some reason. You could be the happier one in the in the connection, right? You could be um, <clears throat> like the, you know, um, the jolly one, the one that brings out the happiness in this person, okay? Because some of you, I feel like you're dealing with someone who's, who's more of a pessimist, okay? I feel like you're the optimist in this connection. And um, they kind of depend on you. So it could be like um, they depend on you to make it better, okay? All right. <laughs> this is the other deck. I'm going to go into your energies, okay? Let's see. How is okay? Interesting. <laughs> We're getting double cards right here. This is crazy. Wow. Okay. This is interesting. Yeah, I feel that you are actually going back and forth when it comes to um, this person, okay? So this is double cards again, seven, okay? This is Literally, like I said, either you're thinking, I need, should I block this person off for good or should I fight for this? I feel that you're not, you're indecisive and it has a lot to do with your mind and your heart that is kind of fighting with one another right now, okay? And we got the priestess here, the high priestess. So this is about you. Um, some of you are having issues with your intuition. You could feel like you're blocked at this time, okay? And what it's telling me here is that you're not blocked. It's just that you are paying attention to the conditions of this connection and you're not going within, okay? You're not going in to see the higher perspective of what's really going on of why you're feeling this way. It's like you're not even questioning yourself. You're actually questioning this person in your mind. Like, why are they acting like this? Why are we going through this pause? Like, there's this rift. And some of you, it's not like, I don't feel like there's fighting going on. I just feel like there's just like a pause in communication it could be. Or it's like things are not going smoothly. You're both sad about it somehow, okay? You're both disappointed, I feel. And so Spirit's advice here, guys, usually they don't give advice in the middle of this reading, but you're thinking, should I reach out to this person? You don't want to. You don't want to. Something is holding you back from reaching out to this person, okay? Okay. You don't want them to get used to you doing that. You want them to take action. This person is uh, probably the type of person that, like, how should I say this? They're not assertive. You could have met them and they were completely assertive and now it's like they're not making any moves, like bold moves, okay? So this is about you. Um not knowing what to do because it's like you feel like your intuition is blocked. Some of you might be getting headaches. Yeah, there's a lot of pondering going on is what Spirit is saying. And it's all up in your head. It's, it's not your intuition saying, 
hey, be confused, Cap. Like, you know, because you feel confused on what to do about this. And a lot of you are just like, I'm not going to reach out because I might get rejected. Some of you even are like thinking that in your head. You're worried. You're, you're, you're like, what if I get rejected? I don't want to reach out if I'm going to get rejected. So I feel that both of you are treading really carefully with one another at this time. And normally, Cap, you would be the person that would reach out with a sweet message here and be like, you know what? Um, like something cute or funny, you know, I feel that you're not being your true self here, okay? I'm not saying you're being fake, but what I'm saying here is that you, you feel that you're not being yourself. I hope that makes sense, okay? Um, and the thing here is that some of you feel like that spark that ignited this whole connection, it's dying out, but it's still there. I see a candle burning, okay? And it's not this one. <laughs> so I see this like, candle burning still okay so it's still there the flame is still there that's what they're trying to say thank you spirit the flame is still there okay but some of you are actually are thinking to yourselves you know maybe i should just be with someone new okay maybe i should just move on from this person because it's not going anywhere okay but your person i see want success and victory this is the six of wands here they want success and victory with you they want to make this work they know they have to do the healing and here you are um questioning whether this flame has burned out already okay so this could have been a connection that started out very intense um for some of you very passionate um, that kind of thing, like you're so attracted to one another, um, you vibe with this person, and now it you kind of feel like it died out because the communication, there's some type of a break here. Okay, let's go back to your person, because your person wants to, um, wow, I just heard meet you halfway, cap. I'm going to extend this, guys, just to let you know. I know I kind of went off on a tangent there. I'm going to extend this reading. I'll let you know in a minute what I'm going to see. First of all, I'm going to see this person's next actions, what their next action is towards you, what you need to do for your highest and best advice from Spirit on that. And I'm going to see predictions, what is coming in, okay? Let me see. Yeah, your person really wants success with this. What are you doing? Yeah. I love it. So, this person, okay, if they have not shown you what I'm receiving, what I'm getting, receiving, yes. Um, Spirit is saying here, this person wants to prove to you how responsible they can be. So maybe you got some sort of, you know, a sense of this person not being responsible, but this person, it's like, they want to prove to you that they can be a responsible um, partner, okay, is what I just heard. Let's see, one more. How do they feel for Capricorn? Okay, yeah. It's not over. Okay? So, guys, your person, how they feel about you, they feel like it's not over. They don't want this to be over. Okay? Um, but they also know things need to change between you, and there, there needs to be some type of newness to this connection. Okay? And they also, it's like they have... Um, what I'm hearing here is, is like they're sorry for um, being cold to you recently. I feel that this person has been cold to you recently. And they're sorry also that they can't, they haven't been able to give you like this definite answer of where they want this to go. 
but I feel like it's just they're just holding it back inside of them, okay? Sag got something similar. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Sag or you got Sag placements. Doesn't have to be, guys, but um, this is about someone who wants success in this connection. So I'm going to go into the extended, guys. This should be inter interesting. Um, you can follow me there. Don't forget to like this video if it's helped you, which I hope it has in some way. And yeah, I wish you all the best, Capricorn. Take good care and peace out.